All right, we're gonna learn how to solve a quadratic inequality and put it on a number line. Here we go. First thing you gotta do is just pretend that's an equal sign. Can you do that? And you gotta set it equal to zero. So there's something on the right side. Let's bring it over here, subtract four. And then what do we got? What do we got there? So we're just gonna pretend it's equal to zero. We're gonna factor this. Okay, you're gonna have a question to do on the next problem where it's not gonna factor. You're gonna to have to use quadratic formula, no big deal. But this one, I think it's gonna factor x and x. I'm looking at that sign right there. It's a minus, so I need a plus times a minus. And then factors of three, I gotta to get to here so I can see what's gonna happen. Three x minus one, boom, we hit the home run. Okay, so again, pick each of these factors up, set it equal to zero x equals negative 3, x equals 1, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to erase because now we need a number one. Uh, let's get rid of all that. All right. So these are what I call critical points, okay? And we don't need to get crazy on a number line. Let's just put those two points there. If you want to put zero, fine. Um, now we got to determine open or closed circles. Well, since this is less than, we know they're going to be open circles. If it was less than or equal to, they would color them in. So now we got to test points. There's a point we got to test here, here, and here. Okay. Well, let's put zero in because that's pretty easy to work with. Put zero here, you get one. Is one less than four? Yeah, that's true. So I put a little check mark. Let's pick a number like two. That's over here. That'd be four, eight, nine is less than four, no. And then, you know, you can get crazy. How about negative a hundo? Well, that would be 10,000. So, of course, it's gonna be less than that. So that is a no-go zone. So what's my graph? Right in here. And that's how I like it to do. We don't need to do any kind of crazy squiggly lines. Okay, how do we write our solution? Well, X has to be less than one but also greater than negative three, and that's how it's done.